Test this baby out. So I'm gonna say right off the bat, the controls are very easy to manage. Kudos. Um, gravity's uh, gravity's a little off, but at the same time, it's about building around the error. You know, you're not coding this, I'm sure. So this is all about game ideas, which is what game design's all about. And your respawn's actually on cue, which is sometimes a bit more of a convoluted and, and more difficult thing than you would imagine. No, it's fine. Alright. So maybe the floating mechanic might actually be something that you want to actually incorporate. Ah, alright. This is funny because I could show you some uh, footage from Ori in the Blind Forest where uh, original concept is very, very similar. When, when you're working with concepts, this is basically the, the nuts and bolts of what you're doing. And your trigger is on cue also, and that could be a pain in the ass thing to manage. I'm really positive where we're supposed to go with this. Do I just follow? Oh, it continues on. Okay. I was thinking that this was just a one-stage thing. Ah. Okay. Now the trigger up there is flat. Oh, now it moves? Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, I gotta move quick. Which ain't happening. <laughs> no, well, right here you have uh, multiple different types of uh, things that you could actually work with. And to be honest with you, I, I, I like it. Are we the first people to ever test your game? <laughs> you like the music I added? <laughs> well, I figured, you know, there wasn't going to be a lot. And then when I saw what the opening uh, page looked like, I was like, oh, it's something basic for, like, you know, educational purposes. So I thought, you know, just having some sort of relaxing music could help with focusing on what I needed to do. <laughs> All right. This makes me realize how people must have made Geometry Dash on that Game Maker Studio. Because I've never used Game Maker Studio. I've only ever used... Uh, I mean, I started with Unreal, but I'm not really good, and the only, like, games or demo games that I've made have been on Unity. Ugh. Oh, look at that. The Teeth of Death! So we are the first people to actually test this out? Well, that's good. I'm happy I'm your first. So wait, how old are you again, Guinea? You said 7th grade, so I'm going to imagine you're what? Uh, 12? 11? 
I graduated a couple years early, so I don't really know what age people would be in school. 13, alright. Ah. There we go. see what you did here. Girl, with this type of freaking platforming mechanics, you know, you could get a job working with Moon Studios or something. This is freaking awesome. It's very creative. How many levels did you do? Or... What is this, down and up? Down is up, up is down. I mean, uh, right now, the only suggestion I would even have, besides, you know, adding a background track, um, you know, I mean, like, I'm very limited on, on what suggestions I would even have for you. Oh, I see what you have to do here. Oh, teleporty. I did that in one of the first games I did too. That's funny. Ooh. like the music I added. <laughs> yeah, actually, this was one of the uh, tracks that I had chosen for... Uh... Oh, do we have to go back up? Oh, we do. Oh. Wiley, I get it. Probably just sitting there with like this shitty and grin on your face. <laughs> oh, that's a glitch. Okay. Um, was it a glitch when I hit the ceiling, or was it a glitch it, that I hit? Okay. All right. Wee! Beautiful. Oh, all right. I see. I like. Yeah, so when you, uh, like in platforms, if you envisioned the green block, say, as Ori. Have you ever played Ori in the Blind Forest? I mean, for a 12-year-old, 13-year-old, this is an amazing platforming uh, game that you, you put together here. I mean, especially at your age, with absolutely no knowledge of, or how to work. You know, the, the quirks that I would have with this are professional quirks. And they wouldn't be anything that would be expected of somebody of your limited capability, you know, to be able to do. Uh, but as far as the thought process that you put in making the, the game itself, the uh, the mechanics, the puzzle mechanics, I mean, that's all you, you know, that, that ain't something that, you know, you take from, from somebody else, that's what makes you successful in the industry. Now, I'm going to assume uh, during your testing phase that you had actually done all these puzzles, right, to completion. <laughs> Supposed to go up. Am I supposed to go up? Oh, 
Oh, yep, I am. That just had to be a little perfect, but a lot of games make it that way. There we go. But I could easily picture something like this as a cutscene in Ori and the Blind Forest, you know? And you have a couple of enemies, or maybe have some, you know, shit shooting in between each one of these areas. It's all tested. Goody, goody. Kid tested, mother approved. <laughs> you have a dog named Ori? I have a bibble that looks like Ori. Look at her and her floppiness. Isn't she wonderful? I fucking love you. Alright, back to the game. Yeah, I mean, even the fact that you did this much already. Alright. Ooh! Oh, you can pop them by jumping on them! Oh, that's awesome! I was really doing everything but... <laughs> oh... Oh, look at that! Oh, you wily person, you. Now, this is a left-right-minded brain technique. This is smart. <laughs> You're alive? Quickness, the link should be in the description. Uh, let me refresh and make sure. Bring them both down at the same time. Oh, I didn't even think about doing something like that. Alright. That was a nice puzzle. I like that. <laughs> yeah. 
cannot say that name. Which names? <laughs> ah! Alright. So that spike's a little temperamental. seeing the switch for this. Oh, we go up. Oh, this is like doing the tree. I like it. This makes me want to play Ori. Oh, no! Bibby, you were breathing so heavy that you're like shaking the entire bed. Oh, did I go the hard way? Oh no, I think I went the right way. Oh, I did. I gone done it. Skill level's kind of unfair. It wasn't until you said that <laughs> that I started messing up. <laughs> and you have this urge to rush to get to where you were before. You know, the only reason why I got that high was because I was taking it slow. Alright. I gotta stop with my, my bounciness. My bouncing. I like how the blocks look like something out of Super Mario 3. Or Super Mario... No! That's twice I fell on that exact same one. Bibby. Such a bounciness. There we go. Progress. Well, I guess progress would be if we uh, get past the part that we keep on kicking the bucket in. Alright. This is the part where we keep kicking the bucket, right? Wish I could look down a bit. Maybe what I should do. There we go. That's a using your noggin, that. No! <laughs> hey, Zah. You need sleep? Well. All right, you have a good night. Why does this look... I swear to God, sometimes... SOMETIMES! Uh... Yeah, believe it or not, when I do my uh, indie streams, they're probably the least amount of views I get, but it's the most enjoyable for me because these are things that I've never played. I get to look at people's new puzzle and game mechanics. This is more, you know, 
game than puzzle mechanics. I mean, uh, puzzle than game mechanics, but it's still really, really interesting, like on an equal footing. Is this the last stage? I don't know. I, I can see it's possible. That that last one was blatantly my mistake. I had totally went to hit the jump button and was like overthinking it, and I hit the the right button instead. <laughs> Yeah, have you ever seen the development process of Ori in the Blind Forest? Ah, maybe I'll play that a little bit for you before I do Kreaverse. Might even give you some ideas. Ah. It's like that damn tree at the end of the game. Well, in the middle of the game. Actually, I think it was kind of closer to the beginning of the game. Sometimes that little tap. King of the Mountain. I don't think you know uh, King of the Mountain. It's an old Atari game. I'd be surprised, actually, if you did know it. Most people my age don't know what King of the Mountain is. Hole of the Mountain King. That's the music that it played. Alright, we ain't messing it up this time. I'll give you a, a copy of the soundtrack. You should add the soundtrack to it. Yay! Oh, I forgot you could do that. I was about to be like stumped. Don't worry, if you know me, and, and Zaz's starting to know this about me, I am extremely stubborn. P-Wop, I'm surprised you fell asleep. I hate this level. Don't hate it. When you see people struggling like that, just laugh and love it.
And if you do think it's one of your hardest levels, try, uh, circle it towards the end. You know, make sure that, uh, I mean, because you actually did the layout not terribly bad. There's a couple of boards that maybe I would swap. But, I mean, as far as, like, that layout that you have, where by the time you get to this area, you already know all the puzzle mechanics that you're supposed to know. You know, when you, when you sit there and think about it, like, one of my... Aww. One of my biggest pet peeves about Geometry Dash is... Oh, damn. I think I hit the teats. The teats. I mean, without challenge and increasing difficulty, the game would become stagnant and then people wouldn't be interested in it anymore. You want things that are challenging that somebody would be like, well, I beat that stage, and everybody else would be like, no fucking way, show me. <laughs> it's the simplicity that people feel that a game needs to have in this day and age that's making games bad. So if you see somebody struggling with it, you know, ask them how they feel about it. If they're like, you know, and, and that's what, you know, doing a, you know, a proper peer review is. See, like right now, I guess to prevent somebody from accidentally timing out by going off screen, you could take like another wall like that and just stick it along the side. So that they don't accidentally jump. Is I can't see <laughs> below me. Ah. Yeah. Does Geometry Dash have a story? Hell's no. I ended up making things like story mode afterwards, but it had 8 million downloads by the time that happened. And what's Geometry Dash? It's absolutely nothing different than this. You know, you add a couple of soundtracks to it. Maybe you could even think to make it more like Hall of the Mountain King, where the closer you get to the top, the more the music starts speeding up, give people pressure and anxiety. That's all people care about. Game could be as simple as shit. Doesn't matter. And then, in comparison even to the game that I'll show you after this, which is kind of like, uh... You know... Imagine your models with those types of colorizations and texturization, you know, in the long run. When, like, I'm a game designer, right? So what would I build? I would build shit like this. I would turn around, I would hand this to the artist. Statistic level designer. Oh, you talk about Geometry Dash or yourself? I mean, you do need a couple of more simpler boards to get to before you get here. You know, this would be more like a final board or something. I mean, especially if the couple of levels that are after this one are, you know, kind of easy. But, I mean, there's, there's an auto respawn, you know, so it's not like you gotta wait. You know, the biggest frustration that people had with games that seemed impossible or unforgiving were the damn load times. I mean, when you died and you saw you are dead and like had to wait five freaking minutes for that screen to go away while the game reloaded. Ugh. 
That was frustrating. That added unnecessary frustration. You know, with the way this is, you're kind of immediately going back at it. And by the time, you know, I mean, hell, at this particular point, I'm bouncing up these friggin' things with, like, just muscle memory. I'm not even really paying attention, because I'm spending more time, like, talking and, and looking at your screen. Give up. No, there is this other game I want to play. But I want to do that when it's earlier in the day and more people are around. But I have this game, Anti-Chamber. And it's like a total puzzle mindfuck game. Where you kind of like... Everything... Like, the way the game is described is... Everything that you think you should be doing... You're supposed to do the opposite. And that it's supposed to be like, you know basically do the opposite of what you think you should be doing and that's what you're supposed to do and I, I just kind of want to see how a game like that pans out ah! see like I technically like this better than something like geometry dash to be honest with Oh, I hit the wrong button again. And if you could make this controller compatible, I probably would have already gotten it done already. Damn. Oh my god. I'm trying to work on the sensitivity of the right and left buttons. Hmm. Like, I'm used to when I hit the jump button. I have to hold right at the same time. And that's just, you know, from playing other games and getting used to those types of mechanics. With this one, it's kind of like jump, then move. So it's a little different in that aspect. So, like, a lot of my mistakes with this level have a lot to deal with that. But that still doesn't say anything good or bad about the game. It's just saying that your gameplay is different. Or the mechanic in which you operate the move. But you see, on that portion, I need to actually hold move and jump at the same time. So, it's funny. <laughs> ah! I don't know, I wouldn't say this is a dead project. trouble with that now. <laughs> this is boring to watch. some of 
the other levels look like. Alright. Stubbornness rues the day. Refraining from uh, flipping out. <laughs> I don't have food. I gotta go to the store. Oh, how do I cheat? Yeah, I mean, I know how to win it. I just gotta memorize what this bottom portion of it looks like. Because when I got here, I didn't know where I was supposed to fall. That was generally what the, the problem was. So it's like I didn't memorize the layout of the level well enough. And what you should have, maybe a mechanic that you could add. I don't know if you could, but something like maybe holding down on the thick black platforms maybe gives you like a little bit of depth that you could see above or below you. You'll see that in a lot of games nowadays. Go into Game Maker and change it to your liking. Uh, how do I do that? Is that Splash? What the fuck is Splash? Oh, it's just a photo. Yeah, I mean, I myself don't have Game Maker, so I don't, you know, I'd have to download that. Uh, well, my final verdict is that it's actually a really good game. Um, I, I really, you know, there, there are a couple of little things that I think on a professional scale could be to model it up. But I think as far as how the puzzle mechanics are working out and the layout that you actually started with and the minimal, like the minimal to no equipment and the absolutely no capability of scripting. I mean, this definitely is like kudos. Especially at your age. I mean, you still got like another friggin' five to ten years, you know, before you would even be able to get a job in this industry. No, I definitely liked it. It's a great game. It's solid. You know, let me see if uh, I should be able to show you. I'm just going to pull this up real quick. Hopefully I have no problem. But... Mm -mm.
Alright, where'd you go? Scene. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, I'll definitely try that out. Yeah, I wanted you to see this. Might help give you some sort of inspirations. Now this is a professional company, so I just want you to have an idea of how this works. Alright? This is everything that's, that's done. This is all through Unity. So he's showing different types of mechanics that were made in order to progress in the video game. So, now this man who made this ended up making a huge mega blockbuster with Ori and the Blind Forest. Um, but before it was Ori and the Blind Forest, it was this. A bunch of circles and blocks and cubes. And the ability to do little things and interactions. To make other things actually happen. And you'll see what I mean as far as when he starts getting into the platforming and the jump mechanics. Unity for the win, for sure. Gamer, did you see this game that this girl made? Yeah. Now that little white box, that's Ori, you know? Pre-Ori, before Ori. <laughs> And then, you know, what the final product ends up becoming. Now look at even, these are the platforms that disperse and come back. They're all little tiny boxes that move to specific areas. There you go, that's like Metroid right there. Turn your box into a ball. Yeah, she's 13 years old, 12 years old. How old are you, guinea pig? I know I asked you already. Honestly, that's better than any project I came out in my first year in game design school. What you had as far as those puzzle mechanics. Thirteen. Yeah, you got you got a. F you got a career in this if, if you're really in interested. I would definitely say so. Hell, I'll hire you. Fuck. <laughs> I'll hire you before you turn 18. Just get your, like, documents signed by your parents. See, now the mechanics are starting to get a little bit more um, fleshed out, which you can notice by the life or whatever. But the funny thing is, the one thing you'll notice is none of this was in Ori and the Blind Forest. Matter of fact, even looking at that little creature right there, look at him. That ain't Ori. This is a completely different game than what was what ended up being the final project. There were a couple of those mechanics that he ended up keeping in Ori and the Blind Forest, but it gives you an idea of how much he took out. Like, that's Metroid right there. He turns into a ball and fucking spin dashes out. <laughs> you 
You know, this was the bash ability to be able to uh, reflect things. These were different types of deaths that they were working on. See, now look at what yours was. This is two switches. One goes up, one goes down. Very simple, basic game mechanics. He even writes on the top, cinematic. Like, at this point, we'll make a cinematic. <laughs> you know, pull this out in order to make something full. A lot of uh, what you see when, uh, you know, they're trying to make models that are outside the, uh, the realms of, of what would be used in the game, a lot of that's done on Blender, but when you look at what you have here, this is all done on Unity. These are all, everything that you see here is everything that you can make with the Unity engine already, without knowing any scripting or anything of that nature. Minor scripting, you know, like where it says text, text, text. I mean, you're, you're, you'd need to understand a lot of the lingo for the crap, but... You know, using puzzles in order to actually defeat enemies. Yeah, everybody, you'll always prefer things that you're most comfortable with. And it's not until you can see how much more you can do with other things that, you know, you'll even consider wanting to use them. Now this was the tree that I was talking about, where uh, I guess he's not going to really show you in this clip per se. Now you'll see a lot of different things, all of these are animations. Now you don't even need to have an animator in order to make that yourself. My encoder overloaded. I don't know why it has that issue. Uh -huh. I could put it on. It's ultra fast. No, no, it's not even that hard. So, I don't know. I figured I wanted to show you some of these things. You know, that they're, they're like really, really nifty. Oh, it's because my stream health is really low. And that's what my encoder issue is about.
This was uh, different ways in which he wanted to try and get the mechanics of the tree thing going. No problem. Alright, I should probably play Creavers. I have to like reset my video coder in order to play this game. <laughs> mm. Alright. Let's attempt Creavers. That was so weird when you see things that weren't in the game. Alright. So, this is another game. I think this game was made Unity, if I'm not mistaken. Well, we are performing first time setup. I don't really think that you should be able to need to install something I already have. Mm. Now, this game, it kind of looked really interesting. It had a very positive rating. You know, and for a f game that was 49 cents, you know, positive is pretty cool. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing, but I know what it's not doing. There you go. Um, yeah, looking at this, I would say... Oh, wait. I don't have my controller. What, Bobby Bobbles? Give me a sec. I understand why the stream held us so bad. What, Bobby Bobbles? Damn it, kitty cat. Yeah, I have a similar issue where it's 5.30 in the morning here and I gotta be up by noon for a team meeting. Oh, lordy. Alright, so input. Joystick, joystick, joystick. Sounds good. Play. And, uh, I hope the DS4 is still on. The light's on, so it should. Alright. Um, you guys see the whole thing? Um, looks good to me. I don't see any frame drops. 
So uh, this is Creavers. Our stream health is a little low, so if uh, if you have any issues, just uh, tell me. Mm, let's see. No hard challenge options. I guess we want it in English. Music on, volume up. Let's see. <coughs> so this is a cutesy ootsy game. I'm pretty sure it's a Unity engine. You, uh, you, Unreal has a tendency to advertise the shit out of itself. Alright, guinea pig, you have a good night. <laughs> I'm sure I'll see you around. Alright, so the <clears throat> idea or concept of this game, I believe it's, uh, it's blatantly a platform. Alright, Journey will take him deep into the forest. Does this work? Um, my control is lit up like it should work. And apparently, it wants me to use. Yeah. It wants me to use the laptop. So, I'm gonna have to reset this anyways. So, let's get her done. I think it didn't recognize my DS4. Which it says it's there. Battery's full. No, we don't want to X out. Fuck me. God, I always do that. Alright, there we go. We are open and live and active and everything that we should be. I don't want to hear no bullshit. You play. I probably could have put it on best. Whatever. Options. Oh, it didn't have controller options. Alright, resume. Alright, now it says X. I think that's what it said before, to be honest with you, but I don't remember. Oh. Oh, go figure, now my stream health is good. I wonder if people affect my stream health. Obstacles. Um, to reach greater height, hold A.
vines is easy for a creever. Hmm. Eh, we can swing on the vines. Vines don't really have a lot of flexibility, but. Once vibrant forest is dying. Vital light, the essence of the forest is fading and darkness is spreading. Collect essence to return light to the forest. Alright. Water slows you down and makes it hard to jump. Follow the trail of light. This will guide the way. These flowers are safe haven. You return them if you are overwhelmed. Ah, flowers are my save point. Alright. Well, at least he pulls himself up. Many of the forest creatures have become aggressive. You may have to subdue these animals to pass. Apparently breathing on him. Bitey must have terrible breath. Alright. Well, we seem to have found everything. That works. Oh, I have to... Yeah, how do I continue? It's all weird, but... Uh, I have to use the computer and the friggin' controller? Since when? Bomb bomb. These ones have a little bit more flexibility, it seems. Well, at least Bitey doesn't get hurt. Bitey's powerful jaws allow him to hang from fruit. Just hold and then jump. Yeah. Why don't you show me how to do that in the tutorial? Wax, what are you doing? Bibby. 
Baby, what are you doing? Are you making a mess? Can't you see the terrible mess that this house is already in? Actually, so far I think this is a kind of cute game. I like the colors. Cutscene. It was a burr. a lot. Doesn't it have, it has a very colorful look. I kind of, it's a pretty nip, like so far it plays pretty easy. Um, this is pokey. You can switch between the cleavers at any time. Oh, sweet. Ah, so that's what they were showing you that mechanic for. So he bites, and then you switch to him, and he can swing. Oh my god, and I know we get like four or five of these little dudes. Alright, so if I go back to Bitey, uh, Bitey can. Oh wait, Bitey can jump. Oh, look at them dancing together. They don't really seem like the types of creatures that would be dancing together. I don't know what the heck. They didn't really say what the other one's ability was, though, did they? Or if he even had an ability? No, you asshat! Pokey can shoot spikes from his back to scare aggressive animals. Ah, oh, so they're telling us now what his use is. He doesn't really jump very high, does he? Alright, so... I guess hit... Oh. Change the angle by crouching. I guess he's kind of like a demonic porcupine. How, what the fuck am I... How am I missing? There we go. Alright, so then... Bitey is back to biting. this, uh, use, uh, the other ca- oh, fuck me. Can I make it? Oh, yeah, he jumps a lot better. Alright, so using this guy to jump there. No! Oh, he made it. they need to to jam together.
So one is like a demonic lemur, and the other one's a demonic porcupine. Jump at the wall with Pokey. Right. Ow, because he leaves little thingies in the wall. I don't get the, the, the jamming together thing. Bibble Axe, where'd you go? I, I kind of like it. I don't know. I'm still, like, gathering if there's, like, what the story is or how long it is, even. Uh, you gotta crawl to get forward. at the same time. It's kind of like dark and foreboding and happy. It's weird. We sure are different. Where the fuck would you get up there? Damn it, stream. Why are you telling me you got low stream health again? Alright, fuck that shit. first. Actually, it's just... Oh. Could have missed that essence. No, what did you do, you fat bastard? fish.
Oh shit. Shot the bitey. Oh, it's a bouncy shroom. Teamwork makes the dream work. Wait, you're the only one who gets to dance. Fighty with his stank ass breath. Did they even give a name for Fatso? Everything's angry and depressed because the forest is dying. Let's shoot him. Now, can I get her killed? I'm blinking. I haven't really gone over that in the realm of health. I mean, I get all bright and colorful again when I get to these plants, so I assume that means something. It's very interesting mechanic. <clears throat> Using partners to work together. Oh, fuck off. Uh -oh. Killed the squirrel. 
He was just confused with life. Man, we don't really get much of a swing with this, do we? Yeah. Bitey stuck down here. Die. You gotta get both of them there now. Dollars in essence. No, oh, we got we found every moat. We missed three of the essences. Don't know why or how. Mighty snaps his jaws to scare unfriendlies.
this mean little bastard. Oh, he's gonna go down too. I'm not affected by that. Alright, it's got some intriguing puzzling mechanics to it. I like the art and the style. Ride on the beetle train. Oh, thank God. I wasn't sure if that was going to work. things on the first hand try anyway. Dance, guys! We can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. But your friends don't dance, and if they won't dance, there well, are no friends of mine. Yeah, we can go where we want to, and if we go, nobody will. Cause we'd like to come from out of this world, and I'm just an imbecile. You know, we can dance, we can sing! Going down. How now, Charlie Brown? Holy fuck! Who would have sunk that? No, I, I yelled at him. I stank my bare breath at him.
today. They just like dancing. Dancing! Oh, I missed. And apparently we can't. Necessarily large one. Maybe the further you bounce away, the What do I miss every single time? Knew my bad breath would get you eventually. Pretty good at this. Pokey can shoot his spikes to scare unfriendly animals. Oh, the music finally changed. Mm, a lot more light here.
answer is no. Take a different route. I was about to say, what's up with the music? There's like this delay. <laughs> the details in the backdrop. It's actually really nice. Oh. Well, that's interesting. What's up, Gabe? You getting ready for school? I didn't even notice you were there. Nobody likes indie games. It's such a shame. stank ass breath. show you guys one of mine and not even tell you just see what your reactions are <laughs> It's 
all about the little crudlin creatures. Mess it up, stank breath. Look at that one. Apparently, it's just kind of bright looking. Dancing.
we're supposed to get a few creatures here. After we get the next one. anyway. Everybody went to bed. Well, actually everybody went to work. <laughs> Not, uh, I don't know. I'll post this in the channel if anybody likes it. Uh, I will uh, stream it again. See what the story is. All that good stuff. Uh, until next time. I will see you guys soon.